How's it going everybody? It's Danny. I'm back with another video and this is actually a long overdue video. I apologize to the uh, the person who sent this for review. Uh, this is from 15 Technology. This is their, uh, it looks like it's just a standard PC microphone. Um, and uh, so yeah, first thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox it and then we're going to check it out. See what it is all about. So right out of the package, we've got a little, looks like a little, uh, a little notice or pamphlet or something from 15 Technology. Very cool. Uh, it's got the company website and their Facebook page. Let's see if that'll focus. I know Canon takes for, you know a while. There we go. So there you guys go. Have a look at that. All right. And then we've got the user's guide for the microphone itself. And last but not least, the microphone in here as well. Alright. So it looks like a pretty much a no frills microphone. Uh, it is powered by USB. That's very nice. I did not expect that actually. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the gaming PC behind me and we're gonna see how this sounds. Um, it seems like it's built to pretty good quality, honestly. We've got the, looks like a power button, I believe. I could be wrong. Looks like a power button and then we've got, looks like a knob for muting or turning it up and down the level. Either, I'm not sure if that's, well that's probably, that would be the level of, of your voice in the microphone, so. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to the PC and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, one other thing I wanna add, look at that. You can angle it any way you want. It's very nice, very nice. It's also got an anti-slick bottom so it won't slip over your desk, which is very nice. So, all right, let's see how it sounds and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I currently have the 15 k 52 microphone directly in front of me. Uh, right here. I don't know if you can see, you can't see on the screen. Um, and I have no idea how it sounds, so this is just raw directly through Streamlabs OBS. I can adjust the microphone sensitivity. This is all the way up at a somewhat loud speaking voice, not really. It, it's still within like an inside voice, just like spoken as if I'm speaking to five people at once you know and that's with the level all the way up and we, if we turn it down it gets quieter and quieter and quieter uh again and i'm just turning the knob here and that is one thing i really like about this is the fact that you can adjust the level right here on the base of the microphone it's very nice so uh, and it, it feels like quality too you know you get a lot of these different types of affordable mics on Amazon and, and your results can vary but this seems to be pretty solid at least build quality wise I don't know how it sounds yet I guess I'll figure that out in post um, and just so you know I will not be filtering the sound so if it sounds good in post great if it sounds bad that's my honest review um, I promise an honest review and that's what they will be getting so uh, and then here's the mute button I just said, and as you can see, you can't hear me at all. So the mute button works. So we've got the um, microphone sensitivity sort of knob here, as well as a mute button. Okay, that was the knob all the way turned down. So it also functions as a mute, basically. So there you go. Now, who is this for? This is for anybody who just needs a basic microphone, nothing fancy no frills you know you can buy a Rode NT USB this is a hundred fifty dollar mic that's what I used to stream with or you can buy the blue uh, Yeti mini uh, USB and that's a hundred bucks or you can buy the affordable 15 K052 mic and assuming it sounds great this may suit your needs it really it it, it probably will suit your needs so no need to go out and spend you know hundreds of dollars on USB mics when Fitfeen offers the K052 for a much more affordable price. So check out that link in the description if you are interested in buying one yourself. And with that being said, 
the other thing I'd like to point out besides the volume knob or the gain or whatever it's called, the fact that there was two more. They, they told me they wanted two things that I liked, and I, I'm going to give them three. So the anti-slick is a big thing with uh, for me because you get a lot of these microphones, and I wish the Rode mic had this, and it doesn't. But they slide around on slippery desks. This has a rubber sort of felt bottom, and it just keeps it from sliding. It's sitting here firmly on the desk. And uh, the other thing is the flexibility of the neck of the microphone. You can dip it down, up, off to the side, whatever angle you need it at. It's it just and it just holds it. It just stays there. So again, there are three points I like about the mic. So. That being said, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.